Welcome to this channel about a healthy lifestyle. Today we are going to tell you about one useful pose. Just one minute of practice a day and you'll be amazed at the changes that will happen to your body. I'm going to talk about yoga and one of the most famous asanas with the funny name Downward Facing Dog or Adhamakashvanasana. There are many practices, but almost every yoga instructor recommends doing this pose often and for a long time. And for good reason, Downward Facing Dog is a major yoga asana. Even if you're not going to become a yogi and you're far away from it all, watch this video and you'll learn a lot about how a simple one minute exercise can improve your health and well-being. This simple, accessible to everyone asana is considered one of the most effective. What's so special about it? Let's explore. This pose is safe for the back and does not overload it. This is the position of the body in which the posterior surface of the thigh stretches well, softly and painlessly. How many people can boast of flexibility and the ability to fold in half? Sometimes it's just a matter of excessive hamstring stiffness. Plus, this stiffness can lead to bad posture and curvature of the spine. An important point, you should not stretch by force causing yourself discomfort and pain. When performing asana, the pelvis is positioned above the head. This improves blood flow to the head and saturates the brain with oxygen. At the same time, there is a renewal of the cells of the brain, which improves the appearance and complexion. In normal life, it is very rare that the necessities of daily life force you to become in this pose, so it will be useful to practice it more often. The muzzle down dog lengthens the spine increasing its flexibility and preventing clips. Do you know why growth can decrease as you get older? Because the connective tissue between the vertebrae wears away and shrinks, which increases the risk of injury and damage to the vertebrae. Frequent practice of this pose will help keep your spine healthy and youthful. This pose also helps to straighten the back, open up the chest, and get a nice, correct posture. This issue is especially relevant for office workers who sit in front of a computer all day without stretching their bodies. This asana helps to breathe with a full chest and relieves the tension that has accumulated in the chest. Often, sitting in the same position for a long time leads to the formation of clamps in the cervical spine. Perform the asana correctly. Otherwise, you can aggravate the situation and increase painful sensations. Downward facing dog helps to adjust the breath, to concentrate on it. Further and further, with practice, you will be able to rest in this position and make a connection with the breath. The arm muscles are strengthened and in general the upper body. By doing this asana regularly you will notice a decrease in pain in your neck and lower back. Your arms are stronger, and your mood is better. Moreover, your sleep is normalized, insomnia disappears, your lungs and gastrointestinal tract work better, and muscles of your back, arms, and legs stretch. You become more flexible, and the body feels light. By the way, stretching helps to increase the number of endorphins in the blood. This is why your mood improves, and depressive manifestations disappear. Now we suggest that you learn how to do the downward facing dog down correctly. Only then you will get a positive result not only in building the asana but also in strengthening the nervous system and other systems of the body. It looks quite simple. The body forms a triangle, where its top is the tailbone. In fact, it is important to perform this asana correctly, otherwise, it will not bring any benefit to the body and can even be harmful. For experienced yogis, this pose is habitual and practiced every day, so they are even able to relax while in this position. The correct performance of the downward facing dog asana consists of several steps. We start with the fact that you need to determine the distance that should be between your palms and feet. So put your knees on the floor, sit on your heels, and stretch your hands far forward. Spread your palms shoulder width apart, 
Fingers extended forward. Feet and knees should also be shoulder width apart. Arms and hips should be at right angles to the surface of the floor. Palms should be immediately pressed to the floor and pressed completely. Make sure that the fingertips also touch the floor. Then lift the body and transfer its weight forward, putting the toes under it. Breathe in, and as you exhale, pushing with your hands. Pull your pelvis backward. Gradually start pulling the knees off the floor. Lift the pelvis until you feel your back straighten and become along. If you feel that you can lift your heels even higher, do it. This will straighten your legs even better at the knee. Try to push off the floor with your hands harder and guide your body behind your pelvis, backward and upwards. Stop, fix your pose, and then lower your heels to the floor. You may feel that you can't stand on your heels. That's normal. It is permissible to leave them slightly elevated. A little later, during the performance of the asana, you will be able to lower your heels without much difficulty. Fix the position for a few breaths and exhalations. Try to stretch your chest to your hips and your tailbone upward. Arch your waist downwards. Your abdomen stays loose and stretched out. Aim your eyes downwards. Don't look ahead and lift your head, as this would make the neck muscles tense, which would disrupt the blood supply to the head. Also, Check that your neck is not clamped by your shoulders. Stretch forward a little, pull your shoulders back, point your armpits toward your ears and push yourself back out again with your hands. It is important to complete the exercise correctly. To do this, shift your body weight slightly forward, lower your knees to the floor, and sit on your heels. Stay in this position for a few seconds. If you're a beginner, start a sauna for one minute, gradually increasing it to two or three minutes. We want to warn you about the most common mistakes that occur when trying to do a dhamakashvanasna. As we've already mentioned, you shouldn't expect any positive effects from the incorrectly performed asana should not be expected to have a positive effect. One of the most common mistakes is rounding the back. Beginners do this involuntarily. They forget to keep their back straight by trying to reach the floor with their heels. This is very important. If you notice such a violation, lift your heels up, stretch your buttocks, bend your knees slightly, and pull yourself back. When you reach a position in which your back remains straight, lower your heels to the floor again. And another popular mistake is, on the contrary, a concave back. Once again, the back should be straight, neither concave nor rounded. If you stretch back too much, you will fall into the spine. If your back is concave, roll your body weight forward, onto your arms, then straighten your shoulders. Point your armpits toward your ears, and stretch out following your pelvis. There's also a good visualization recommendation for dog face down asana. Imagine that you are a mountain with two straight slopes and the top of which is your tailbone. Practice shows that this comparison really helps to perform the asana more easily. There are also those who are contraindicated in the downward dog pose. If you have ever had a cranius ribral injury, you should not practice this pose. Also, you should not do it if you have high blood pressure, arthritis, or arthrosis. Be attentive to yourself and your own condition at the moment of practice. If you feel a headache, then refrain from the exercise for today. Also, you cannot do a sauna during menstruation and during the third trimester of pregnancy. If you found the posture challenging, don't worry. Practice, practice, and practice will teach you how to hold this pose quickly and correctly. A sauna doesn't require a lot of free time, so by practicing it regularly, you'll gain more freedom of movement, flexibility, lightness, and improved circulation. By the way, even being at work is not a hindrance to performing downward-facing dog. If you have an opportunity for privacy, 
A couple of minutes in this asana will add strength and increase work capacity due to the increased amount of oxygen flowing to the brain. If you're not embarrassed by your co-workers, then seclusion is not necessary. You can introduce a tradition in the workplace, a downward facing dog minute. This will help not only to stretch the body, relax muscles and calm down but also to diffuse the situation and unite the team. Today yoga is a popular development trend. It's not only a physical practice but also a spiritual one. Some people are close to it, and someone is limited to doing only necessary asanas, which can improve health and prevent illness. Such asanas included Hamakashvanasana. Whatever the case may be, we have seen that regular practice of this pose helps to manage illnesses and improve health. If you do at least one minute of this exercise every day, if done correctly, you will gain a flexible and trim body and notice many other listed early health benefits. Try it, practice it and learn how to perform the asana correctly, you will definitely enjoy it. And your spine and muscles will thank you for this kind of release. Friends, please write in the comments about how you feel during and after this exercise. Share with us in the comments about your experience. We also recommend you watch our other video, in which where we talk about raising your legs vertically up. Thank you for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. In the description of the video, you will find a lot more useful information. All the best to you. I wish you health. 